At this moment, I would like to have Tim Young come out here. I was a teacher, I was a college administrator, I was chair of the fashion design department at Parsons, and in terms of fashion education in this nation, it doesn't get any better than that. At age 50, to be presented with this entirely new threshold of television and red carpet at the Oscars, two New York Times bestsellers, I mean, it's been this phenomenal ride. The industry, pre-Project Runway, loved this mystique, this veil of intrigue over the fashion industry. To expose how difficult this really is and how challenging it is, it's a great honor. All right, designers, I'm eager to check in with you and see what you're doing. I was constantly growing and evolving as a teacher, and I feel as a mentor on Project Runway, I've been constantly growing and okay, evolving. Go ahead, Thank keep, you. keep going. Season 12, I have new beats in the show. In this season, we're excited to welcome Tim Gunn to the Runway Show. I sit with the judges for the Runway presentation, and I present the models to the judges, and I have a moment, a chance, to actually have a few words with them. I've never seen that the designers struggle so much with who the customer is. The whole point of my role is they are so close to their work that when I step in, I'm able to take them back from the work and look at it with me critically and objectively. You're looking like I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I understand that. And that's why I love my catchphrase, make it work. It's not just about what's happening in the workroom, it's about life. If you grow up with a silver spoon in your mouth and there's never any strife or consternation, what, what do you really learn? And also, what resources do you have? Make that work. All right, I will. Tim has a way of making you feel very comfortable and determined. I don't think he has a biased bone in his body. He really wants to see everybody on the show succeed. That looks beautiful. I learned a lot from Tim. Tim's way of thinking and conveying his message is very balanced between you know, mentor and friendship. It's great. I'm constantly asked about the Project Runway alumni. The agenda is to say, well, how many of them have really succeeded? But how do you qualify and quantify success? As you know, in fashion, one day you're in, and the next day, you're out. Not everyone wants to be Michael Kors. One of the things that I love about the fashion industry today, I mean, really the fashion industry post-2000, is that you can make your own way. You really can establish your own path. I have been going to the Emmys since the spring of 2005. I was peepee -pee wet. That's how thrilled I was. We haven't been nominated as host. Heidi has been. This is the first time I've been in her shadow, and I'm thrilled and honored to be in. And the Emmy goes to Heidi Klum and Tim Gunn for Project Runway. Well, whenever I'm presented with the question, what do you want to do that you haven't done? I'll be really honest. If nothing else happens in my life, I've got a collector's shelf of stuff to beat the band. We made it work. I am a very lucky guy.